everyone, welcome back to Tell Me Why. So we are at the police department. So let's see. Let us take you for a ride. We'll see what a police officer does on the job. Register for the ride along program. For more info, ask for Chief Brown at talk to Chief Brown for information. Okay. Please wait in line, thank you. Examine. Too little, too late. Sign the petition, protect salmon migration, stop hunting a large construction on Felland Creek. Oh, that's still not cleaned up? Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during this spill. God, I hope not. I all the beach still closed for oil cleanup 100% college tuition paid damn maybe I should have joined the National Guard Pete's having your credit card stolen by an online college too soon Tyler too soon <laughs> well should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me uh, can't really picture you in the uniform really I think I could pull it off I am the law. All right. Of course, it's locked. Home sweet home. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. He was supposed to host an art show just a few days after he went missing. What happened to him? H at a time of the they're still sending psychiatric patients to prison. That's messed up. Yeah, I heard about that. So messed up. Okay. This one? They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Robert Abajan was last seen in Dallas Crossing, Alaska, near Column Boulevard. He was wearing a green fisherman coat and rubber boots. His glasses and gloves were found adjacent to the Brandon Strickland shooting range. Okay. Memo to all police department personnel from Pleasant Bay Mental Health Institute, date October 16, 2015, subject patient transfer. 1026 2015. To all Dallas Crossing Police Department officers, please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients Dean Becker, Kevin Sutton will be transferred to huh. the. Why do they look so familiar? Film Creek Correction Center, SBU, on Monday. Name Becker Dean. Patient. Mm, Sutton, Kevin. Okay. Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. The officer, Gregs? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. 
The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who are always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Oh, we have a memory. Let's see. Wait, let's read this first. It's locked. Well, what did you expect, dum dum? It's a police station. <laughs> Wait, I want to examine this first. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? She's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. She goes to the Iditarod every year, and she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. Whoa. I deter... I deter a trail sled dog race renalist. Nice. Let's see. <gasps> uh oh. Blocked. <sighs> Something's in the way. Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Let's see this memory first, before we go anywhere else. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Okay. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? Stealing from mailboxes. This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like, hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. On October 27, 2015, at approximately 10.03 hours, 10.03, Officer Greggs and myself were dispatched to 239 Woodlawn Road to respond to report of a theft. We arrived to approximately 10.22 and spoke with owner Lawrence 
Cooper, D.O.B. Cooper reported that his mailbox had been broken into. Cooper stated, I checked it two days ago because I'm waiting on my new phone. They made me pay extra for shipping to get it there, to get it here on time, but I said, I ain't, I ain't having that shit. I'm gonna pay what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said it will, would be there Tuesday. Would be here Tuesday. But this morning the lock was smashed too. Shit and there was and there wasn't nothing in there. Probably that punk as toe down. Note, toe down is a street alias alias for Jarvis A. Solo, known to myself and Officer Greggs and formerly less known address Almeida Plaza Apartments. Cooper also stated he had been home all night prior to the incident and heard nothing unusual. Cooper went on the state when I find toe down I'm gonna stuff his ass up his own ass. Whew. Cooper was cautions against making criminal threats. Cooper then stated his willingness to prosecute Solo and was directed to seek charges with with the prosecutor's office. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Locked? Yes. What do you know? Still locked. Also locked. Go. Oh. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. Move. Let's go upstairs. Tyler, you coming? Armory. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. It's the armory. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. I'll ask Chief Brown later. Can go in there. Mining kills salmon. Yep. Can go out here. Let's go into Chief Edward Brown's office. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go downstairs. Oh. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Okay. Not a memory. Okay, where is it? Oh, 
Oh, here it is, I think. Yes. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Okay, let's go in. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Allison, how about yes. that coffee we were talking about? All right. Yep, it's locked. I hear a phone. Hey, is this Crazy D's locker? One of the best cops in town. Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. I wonder what Delos Crossing's best cop stashes in our locker. Maybe she keeps a spare key somewhere? Sure. Okay, let's go for the coffee. I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. Days without bear setting four. Wow. Here's the coffee machine. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? All right. This is your lunch area. Keep it clean. Check out this masterpiece. Made it. Uh huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Police Chief Brown asked Council to reconsider budget duck strike to begin this week. Majoral election candidate Tom Fetchy supports gun control money for local schools. Alright. It's the first time I've been in here since. That night, Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here, um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Um, 
Sorry. Huh. They kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. <laughs> they did. Nothing special in here. First room, can we go there? Nope. Okay. Oh, not a memory. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry trying to deal but it's a lot all right let's check maybe we can check this bag nope all right still locked read league standings arctic puppies 21 marches little helpers 20 snow snow me's 19 lightning lightning howlings howlings 3 Okay. Sits. What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah. On that paper thin mattress from the cell. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here ten minutes and it's already fucking me up. It does still hurt. It never really stopped hurting. Been having nightmares too? Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah, why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like maybe sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson, and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Don't be weird about Eddie. So, are things gonna be weird at all between you and Eddie? I took the gift, Allison. I'm trying to make an effort. Thank you, I know. I just want everything to be cool. It will be. Right, ready to go. Let's go? Yep. Ooh, let's go. We can go in here. Hmm. In here. Let's snoop around a little bit. Whew. Rose never lets me back here. Cool. Huh. Rose left the computer on. Oops. Let's use it. Oh. Password. Hmm. Rose. I don't know. Let's go back. Oh, look. Memo to all police department personnel from Rose Jackson. Date October 29, 2015. Subject, new administrative software. Please reset your password with the instruction of our new administ administrative software 
all employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions. So do we have to reset it? Maybe it's just Rosie. Damn it. Nope. I don't know. Let's see, maybe it's around here somewhere. Maybe we can find it somewhere else. Okay, let's see. Read. Read. Reception. Oh yeah, that's on the door. Um I don't know. Let's go upstairs. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Marianne worried about something? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew where to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. What were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed. 
but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? It was wrong. Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Ew. What is that? Ew. Creepy. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. That's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was chapter one. Whoa, that was very hectic. Oh my god. Alright, so that was the first chapter of Tell Me Why. And... Wow, that was pretty hectic. Oh, okay, we can see our achievements. So, Allison was happy that Taylor accepted Eddie's peace offering. So, 74% accepted the ring, just like I did. Okay. Allison felt downhearted that Tyler refused to solve the princess's riddle. I'm sorry. 90% <laughs> busted open the door puzzle. Wow. 81% solved the door puzzle. So, Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. 52 chose Tyler's memory. Yes. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. 70% sided with Tyler. Sam Kensky. Tyler earned Sam's respect. 55% called out Sam. Tessa Fetchy. Fecky? Tessa empathized with the twins about Marianne. No, <laughs> 24% didn't get any didn't get an answer. Yeah, I screwed it up. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. 70% sided with Tyler. Alright. Those were the decisions. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Ooh. Okay. Alright, so that was it for chapter number one. And yes, that was pretty intense. I'm excited to play number two, but we will continue in my next video. So I will see you then. Goodbye.